What's up, everybody? It is the Best Bot Kids Move, and I am back with a video. I've been gone for a little bit. I mean, this week we got Planet Xbox, and then earlier in the week you got a live stream from me uh, streaming this game right here, Watch Dogs Legion. And, dude, I'm here to tell you Watch Dogs Legion um, is a sleeper. Now, the game um, is a very ex expansive game. It, it's big, a lot of stuff to do, very distracting. Um, and I kind of wanted to give you guys like, uh, like a uninterrupted, like video impressions of this game. Now, I don't want to call this a, a review because I'm not finished with the game and I'm probably going to be playing this game. I don't know. I think I probably got another like two days or so before I finish it. And mostly I really want to experience it on the next generation consoles. I'm currently playing on the Xbox One X. We know we had, um, it had like a reported bug that got patched uh, that, that was fixed. So uh, I'm not having issues with it like uh, crashing, but um, I'm just here to tell you guys like uh, Watch Dogs Legion is really a, a, a sleeper game. I feel like it's that game that nobody's anticipating, right? And that when they finally get their hands on this game, that they will truly enjoy it. Now, me, I'm no stranger to dropping games. Uh, I mean, I remember Watch Dogs 1 came out, and I dropped it after a week, and it took me five five years to pick the game back up and the only reason why i picked it back up because Watch Dogs legion was starting to look interesting to me and i was like you know what there's not a lot of next gen material launching this holiday uh so outside of valhalla and you know maybe the falcon air maybe i'll do Watch Dogs legion you know i'm not a big fan of the franchise so i figured let me you know sit down and and take the game seriously and i i finished up Watch Dogs uh one um and, and ultimately, I end up liking it. Like, I, I end up really liking it. And then I was like, you know, I'm going to do Watch Dogs uh, 2 and until I found out I had, you know, um, preview access or review access to Watch Dogs Legion. And I said, well, I guess I'm going to have to <laughs> finish Watch Dogs 2 some other time. I want to I want to jump into this Legion. So, um, so, it, so it was crazy. So as soon as I finished up Watch Dogs, I jumped right into... Uh, legions and, and there's a lot of things that I appreciate about this game. It's uh, I don't know if it's the that is uh, it's the less it's not as serious as the first game, though not as goofy as the second game. Um, it's a sandbox, but I feel like the game doesn't take itself seriously, but it's just the right balance. You know, um, I I'm not sure what I can really compare it to. But it's very addict addicting. Once you get past the opening and, and past the, like, you know, once you get, you know, your first operative and you get a hold of so, sort of the missions, it, Ubisoft games have, like, this sort of effect, uh, this kind of, like, roam, clear out area effect, and you want to just kind of try to finish up all these chores. And um, But the thing about Watch Dogs Legions, um, the game is beautiful. It, it looks good. And I'm playing on Xbox One X, so I can only imagine what it looks like on a Series X and a PlayStation 5. Um, I've, I've, I've just been having a ton of fun. Like, I, One of the reasons why I actually didn't finish the main quest is because there's so much side activities and that you can just recruit anybody you walk by, whether it be a homeless person on the street, a cop, a paramedic, a lawyer, and then that how things can occur in the game, and I spoke about this count countless times, some of my fam fa uh, favorite things in this game is like learning about what I can do when I'm in trouble, like, uh, you know, losing a, a character to injury, failing a mission and dying in a mission and, you know, needing a paramedic to reduce the time, the cool down time, because once you, your character dies, you have to, um, you lose that, lose access to that character for about an hour. So if you want to go replay that mission, you can't use the character uh, that you, um, just died with, or if you got a mission where you got, or if, if, if you get, when you're free roaming and you get, you know, stopped by a police cause you did something like stole a car in front of a Albion, uh, a cop, or if you, you know, 
freaking beat up an Albion cop in front of them and, they, and they catch you, you know, you get thrown in jail. That's real game time. You're without that character unless you hire a paramedic or recruit a paramedic or a lawyer or a barrister to your team to reduce those uh, those times. And, you know, some of these guys, uh, these uh, operatives that you do recruit have special, like, you know, weapons, uh, special abilities, things that, you know, complements each mission that you can do. And you can tackle every mission um each and every way there's like limited amount of missions where you or you can't get caught but for the most part you can kind of attack the, the game either guns blazing sneaking around you can do missions without ever stepping foot in the building by just using you know your robots droids and and, and cameras and, and hacking and i think it's just very interesting and the one thing that some people especially me that appreciates about this game is like you know how i say uh, if you die in a mission, you lose out on that character. This game does offer permadeath, uh, but if you're not playing with permadeath, you know they still find ways to make it intriguing by you know hiring a pair, uh, recruiting a paramedic or a lawyer to reduce those times so you can get those characters back. But um, it works for the uh, the the NPCs, the AI as well. So when you go in a mission, let's say you go through you know an area, it's a ton of enemies. You know, you get through it and then you just get, you know, you get caught off guard by one and that's it. You go back to that, finish that mission because ideally you're starting that mission with another operative, not the same one because they're you're going to be without them for some time. You go back and you kind of just finishing the job you started. So all the people that you probably killed or detained uh, in that area, they were they will still be there, either detained, dead, or whatever. That like how you left it, and whoever was left at that point is the only one left. So it's sort of that it's that it's a rage saving moment. So it's like yeah, you died in the mission, but you know you're not gonna have to redo all that crap all over again. Some people might find that very noobish or ca casual. I don't mind it. I think it's awesome. It's actually pretty uh realistic um i mean but the, the thing is is that you know i know Watch Dogs isn't ubisoft most popular um franchise and for multiple reasons you know you don't have uh you know they they're not known for having like good main protagonists whereas this game solves that problem by kind of letting you discover your favorite op and you know i i kind of have like five in rotation that i'm constantly uh using um they uh the london's a cool place the first game took place in chicago the second place i think took place in the bay area uh, san francisco this game is taking place in um london uh so there, there's a lot with the fidelity that they can do there's a lot going on uh, a lot of um cool like uh mission segments a lot of set pieces that take place that um, you know, I found interesting this game. I, I, I appreciate this game a lot and I really do think you guys should check it out Even if you don't buy it day one, maybe Ubisoft games typically go on sale shortly after they release generally Black Friday expect uh, this game to be um, Maybe $40 potentially uh, for the holidays um, If you find this game on sale definitely definitely get it. I recommend it at $60. I was at all intensive uh, purposes of getting this game. The thing about this game uh, and about all Ubisoft games, they're not one and done. Uh, regardless if it's a single player game uh, or a multiplayer game, uh, their games aren't one and done. It's like you have like this uh, incentive to like kind of complete everything. So um, a lot of people's like, well, why aren't you? Um, why don't you wait for the Series X to play? It's like, dude, there's so much to do in the game that even if I finish the main quest line, I can still enjoy it on the Series X because I can just fi finish up all my side chores that I had pending, or all the side missions, or recruiting more people. There's still a lot to board to do. There's a lot of um, uh, expansions coming out. Aiden Paris is going to have a part in this game, so uh, which is going to be interesting, being that I just finished up his uh, quest. Um, Gameplay wise, um, it, it varies. Um, the game plays well to me. Um, I think it, it all depends on who you're using and what your play style. Um, it, this is the most fun I've had with a, a Watch Dogs in the uh, a Watch Dogs game, and the most fun I had with an Ubisoft game since Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is like one of is my favorite franchise from Ubisoft. This game here is definitely a sleeper. I know it's not on a lot of people's radar uh uh for many reasons but honestly you know you got cyberpunk which is delayed uh you got uh halo's not coming out anytime soon um it, it's slim pickings 
uh, this holiday, especially if you're on the Xbox side. So uh, I definitely recommend Watch Dogs Legion. Um, it's a fun game. I'm having a blast with it. And I'm telling everybody, like, every time I'm in the party chat, it, they ask me, I'm playing, I'm playing Watch Dogs. Like, I'm playing Watch Dogs Legion. I'm enjoying my time. Like I said, I'm no stranger to dropping games. People make fun of me for dropping games, for not finishing games. But... Uh, I know I'm going to finish this game. I got so many hours into it. I just haven't put it down. And and typically with games like that, uh, when, I'm, when I'm constantly playing games like, you know, hours in and hours out, uh, I, I pretty much play the finish. And that's what I do with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I'm actually happy that I got, I picked up the game. Well, not, I was given the game uh, uh, now rather than later because I don't know how I would have done this and Valhalla at the same time. That would have been a challenge. Uh, but, um... You guys heard me talk about Watch Dogs Legions multiple times, whether it be the two-hour stream I did the other day, Planet Xbox this week, and now I just wanted to give a dedicated video because I don't think I'll be putting out a standard review because I missed the in the review period because I wasn't done with the game and I wasn't going to like just make up one. I really wanted to kind of enjoy my time uh, with the game, and I can just I can burn through the, the main quest. You you really can if you want to if you just wanted to follow the main missions, but. I'm that type of person when I play these type of games, I get distracted all the time. And there's a lot of distractions in this game. Some people could look at that as a good thing or a bad thing because of the chores. And um, just to give you guys like a, a, a just like some quick things like for so for this game, there's no upgrades. Uh, like, if no, you're not maxing a character out. You got access to all these characters that you recruit and all your characters share the same amount of uh, the same inventory of weapons that you either unlock or you buy uh, from with in-game currency that you earn from doing missions or you find um, in a city. Uh, and, and you pretty much, you guys have every character you use, you can either swap out what you want to, what, what's in your loadout. But of course, each individual have uh, their special, uh, their special, their own loadouts and stuff that's sort of exclusive to them. Um, like the guy that you see, I'm using, I'm using the construction guy. Forget his name, but he's the only one that so far that I have that can spawn in his own cargo drone. Um, and um, he's a. Uh, and, and and it's very helpful. It is very uh, very helpful. It's, it's one of the my my most used uh, uh, devices in the game is the 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 cargo drone. So even though he's not my favorite character to use, I find myself using him a lot for for certain places where I need to get high up and I don't feel like going through uh, security or going through enemy NPCs. I'll just take him, take a cargo uh, drone. Um, and fly it to the highest point and then start and work my way from top down. So, um, but you can max out like the stuff, the inventories that your character share. You can max those out, of course. Um, and then you can, I don't even know if there's a limit on how many people you can recruit, but you can retire people. So if there's characters that you're not using or characters that you don't find beneficial uh, to your ops team, you can kick them. You can retire them. Um, and, and, or if you're playing with permadeath, they, they can just, you know, die off. You know, things do happen in this game where, you know, a, a character, your characters will get kidnapped or get in trouble. You got to rescue them and stuff like that. You don't have to be in control of them when it's, these things do happen to them because they're not all like sitting in like this separate area idle. They're, they're just still around time and you just kind of call on them, you know, when you need them, you spawn them in when you, um, need them. But after that, they're just become AI doing it. And I've actually gotten into altercations with people that I freaking recruited or people that I was supposed to recruit. But, um, I don't know. It's, it's a fun game. I'm having a great time with it. I don't know if I was uh, clear about that, but the reason for this video is because I don't see myself doing, um, a review. Um, I have uh, maybe, like I said, I, I probably I'm probably gonna finish this game this week. Uh, that's a given, um, or this weekend. Um, that's that's definitely a given. But um, but by that time, by the time that comes, I don't think I'll be really up to doing a review. But so if you guys you know for anybody asking, anybody's interested, you know, if, if I recommend Watch Dogs Legion, I absolutely do. Um, if I would put a, sc I'm not gonna put a score on it, but typically. Uh, no, just, I don't see, being that the, the, the scope of this game, this, the storyline of this game, um, I don't think, I don't think anything in the story, right, 
you know, between, from where I'm at now, and I'm probably about like, I'm 20 plus hours into the game. Um, from where I'm at now, for wh when the game finally ends, I don't think it's going to be anything's going to happen to change my opinion on the game overall, because the gameplay loop is pretty consistent. And the thing is, if you either gonna like or you're gonna you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate the gameplay loop. If you don't like the gameplay loop of Watch Dogs, if you don't like what you're seeing here on the screen or the stuff that I did put out, eh, fair enough. You probably won't like the game, but I think um, for a, uh, for a lot of people, it's gonna be a sleeper hit. And uh, I can't say <laughs> I can't say much more about it. I think it's amazing. I think you guys should check it out. And uh, that's my video for today. And I'll see you guys later this week. As always, Xbox is the best box. I am the best buy. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys. Later.